Oh yeah, so we were eating, then at one point, this happens. Oh, hey there. What up, guys? This week is gonna be a bit different. It's gonna be more of a vlog. Less, uh, this weekend I went to Istanbul, so I didn't have that much time to cook. So, like, you know what? I'm gonna share my story and about it. Sadly, the mic I'm using right now, I only received it after I came back from Istanbul, which I wanted to use there. So, but don't worry, I'm gonna... If you like this, app, this format of video, I'm gonna vlog when I go to Milan this month as well. <clears throat> So, first of all, let me show you how I got there. Roll the B-roll. control pass now to get some breakfast and some food. my first time in Istanbul and I love the city. First of all, wow, it's huge. We were driving and driving and driving. So the fun thing is that when we arrived at the airport of Istanbul, we had a quite interesting welcoming gift, which was a huge line for the passport control. Even the girl who we were with, who was local, who lives in Amsterdam, but she decided to take us there, she said like, that's not normal. But besides that, when we were out there, Got to the hotel, checked in, got the rooms, and we went straight to the dinner. I know the Turkish cuisine was nice, delicious, but I don't know how vast it was. So just this one dinner we had, we tried like what? We were all messes, by the way. Uh, we tried, I think, like 30 different dishes in one dinner between what? Uh, six of us? Wow! Six of us? Damn, that was quite interesting. So yeah, that was quite a lot of food. <clears throat> so while we were in Istanbul, we kind of walked around the old town, um, got some of the new parts of the Istanbul as well. Let's go inside, it's not that warm anymore, sadly, in Amsterdam. So when we walked around the Istanbul, um, we went to the old parts and new parts. So yeah, it's an interesting mix and cocktail of West and East, I uh, liked it a lot. And yeah, food keeps amazing me even more. And by, the way, and by the way, thanks to my really good friend Didi who showed us around. It was quite a hell of a trip, I got home a bit sick, but it was worth it. Oh, coffee. Nothing helps more and more in waking up after night shift if than a coffee. So yeah, one of the most fun experiences that I had in dinner 
uh, one of the most memorable and fun Indian experience I had happened this weekend in Istanbul. So we went to this place called, I think it was called Asnap or something like that. Um, so, cool thing about this place, it's from what I heard it's open every day of the week. Um, they serve dinner, it was sort of like a very like a hipstery, like nightclub in a way. Before we went there, uh, our friend Didi told us that, um, so this is a place where you sit down, eat, and then you start dancing. Like crazy dancing. Like, okay, we're up for that. It was one of our friend's birthdays that week anyway, so like, it's a good place to celebrate it. Um, so we went there, had our first mezes again. A lot of food, delicious food. Um, tried Rocky, which I'm still not a fan of. I cannot. I like a lot of things about Turkey, but Raki is not one of them, sadly. Mm. Ah, so, um, where was I? Oh yeah, so we were eating, then at one point, this happens. And it went all crazy, people started dancing on the tables, it was of course all Turkish music playing, so I couldn't understand that word of it, but it was fun, it had good rhythm, so we started dancing like crazy. <clears throat> and so yeah, we arrived around I think like 9, started eating around 9.30, and from 10 till midnight we were just dancing. <laughs> we ate, we kind of ate, but still kept on dancing, which was the one was fun experience. When it comes to food, there's going to be Turkish recipe videos coming, so tune in for that. I'll keep it posted on Instagram and Facebook as well, and, and it's probably getting into Twitter now, so keep on there. Um, what was I? Yeah, oh, other thing I liked about food was the breakfasts. I tried a lot of different breakfasts throughout my, well, short 26 year old, 26 year life. And Turkish is one of my favorite ones because again it's so fast and there's so many dishes to eat at breakfast, which I really like. It feels sort of like more brunchy than breakfast, but it's called Turkish breakfast, which I that's pretty cool. Mm. And what I mean by the lots of dishes, let me put just some pictures here. Um, other cool places that we went to was again the, the Grand Bazaar. Too much light, let me get down the curtain. Ah, and my face is not overexposed as much. Um, so, other cool place we went to as well was the Grand Bazaar. Which is, has an amazing history. And it's huge! You can find anything you want there. Uh, our bazaar we went to was Spice Bazaar, which I had on my bucket list for a while. So of course I got some spices, um, different ones, and all. And it's called Saffron from Iran. For they're cheap! So you want to get a good uh, spices and good saffron from the price, you go to Spice Bazaar in Istanbul. Um, well, I'll put some pictures here right now. And of course, I could not bring uh, come home to my flatmates without any Turkish delight. Which I'm still curious how to make, so I'm gonna do some research and make a video about that soon as well. Um, so yeah, this trip was in the end was a blast, kind of really a lot of fun. Thank you Didi, or Didi Mtifchi, for organizing this trip. Um, I'll have to come back for more food more sightseeing, walking around, taking awesome pictures. Um, I'm gonna link my Instagram for the picturesque one down in the description below. Uh, so just check those pictures out. I'll be posting them throughout a couple of days now. Um, so yeah, this was a bit of a usual episode. Not that much cooking, mostly talking, but promising next week I'll get to be back to cooking. Um, by the way, if you do like this kind of a vlog, uh, I can start making more of it and maybe incorporate it into how I make my episodes, how I do my recipe ideas, how I do research for different episodes. 
if you like it, please leave it in the comments. Please leave it in the comments. And that's mostly it. It's a short one this time. Um, so if you did like, please click the like button, share it with your friends if you think they're gonna enjoy it as well. Um, subscribe if you wanna see cooking videos more, because they're gonna be coming back, no worries about that. And I'm thinking of making special Halloween one. So be tuned in for that. And then yeah. Um, have a good weekend guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!